boy. Who does she think she is? Yeah, who is she? I don't know what she's doing. I think it's dancing. She thinks she's huh? fly with that, uh, what is that? A Gucci bag? Oh boy, I really don't know either. We originally wanted to uh, feature one of our clients called Alleyway. So they chose me to model for the show and then I decided, I got really into it, it's a really great opportunity. I decided to help them out with the other sets as well. Oh, awesome. So what else do you help out with? Um, modeling, makeup, and hair. We have great makeup artists backstage. It is such a wonderful job and with the hair as well. The only tough part of the show was the quick changes because I had the sets back and forth and that was a little difficult, but it was worth it. Oh, I bet. So um, who are you wearing right now? I'm actually wearing my clothes, <laughs> but um, I was wearing clothes from Alleyway and downtown Brooklyn, and I was wearing um, Wall Street. So. Oh, okay, can you tell us about some of the themes in the fashion show as well? Well, we just wanted to incorporate, It was we were taking you uh, like through a trip through New York City, so we were saying how we'd go through the one train, which would go towards like Brooklyn or the C train that would go to down toward, uh, downtown Brooklyn. So we really wanted to take you like a journey through New York City and the, we wanted the clothes and the fashion to incorporate, um, we wanted to incorporate the clothes and the fashion. We are the president and vice president of PRSSA, the Public Relations Student Society of America at Iona. And our job was that we represent Alleyway Boutique, which is a new store in New Rochelle and they generously donated clothes to the Soho section. So we represent them and being part of the fashion show was really an honor and was really gonna be great promotion for the store. Okay, now Jen, did you model? No, I didn't. I just helped coordinate the models, outfits and everything and really set up, you know, what they were going to wear and help them get changed today. So we were behind the scenes basically. Yeah, we, oh, okay. of, we picked out the clothes, we set up the models and just made sure everything went smoothly. Oh, awesome. So did you guys have anything to do with like the performers or anything like that? No, not, not the performers. No, we no. were just related to Alleyway, basically. So we're, we were doing this to promote our client. Oh, okay. Now, did you guys also have a booth set up out here or no? Alleyway couldn't make it today, so they didn't want to have the booth. But we gave out coupons for 10% off an order of $50 or more. So anyone who comes to the show, as long as they have the coupon, they can bring it in and come shop. Okay, now where is Alleyway located? It's in the Quaker Red Shopping Center. It's um, right across from A&P. It's kind of hidden, yeah. but okay. if you just go down North Avenue. Okay, awesome. We'll be sure to look out for it. Thanks, guys. Really, when did you come up with this idea of a fashion show? Um, there was one last year. Soka did it. Um, so I just took the idea from last year and made it much bigger. Well, it's a really oh. nice event. Tell us more about it. Um, it's all the diversity clubs. I'm like the chair of it. There's Ola, Soka BSU. Lennox Society, Inter Residence Councils, uh, PRSSA, and Gales Activities Board. I'm missing some, but there's so much more that's a part of it. Now, did you ask them to be a part of it, or did they just willingly come along? I asked everybody to be a part of it. Oh, that's knew, cool. Sorry, because I knew that it was too much to handle by myself. Yeah. Awesome. So they also helped you plan it as well? Yeah. But majority of my idea, the New York City theme, going from trains, um, the benefit for Food Bank of New York City, it was really nice. And where did you find the other performers that came? Are they Iona students as well or no? No, all the performers are not Iona students except for Gabby. She's the only one. And everyone else is like they're related or they, they know through a friend or a designer. That's where they're all from, yeah. We were actually noticed by them. They came to our store and they, you know, they really like our clothing because, you know, it's so diverse. So, and we're very local. It's like right down the block. And our clothing, Obey, we have so many, so many brands that we represent. So that's one thing that they really liked, and they came, yeah. <laughs> okay, now are some of the models wearing Obey today? I'm sorry, what was that? Are some of the models wearing your collection today? Yes, we have them wearing Obey under two flags, the hundreds, some of the stuff you have that we have here, martial artists, those are all top high quality clothing brands.